Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to focus on love. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, okay? We're just going to see what happens. It's supposed to be a love reading, but, uh, <laughs> you know, love isn't always easy, and it's not always pretty. So if you're looking for something really pretty, then I suggest you uh, look at the flowers. Anyhow, uh, what do we got for um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January in regards to love? Let's talk about love. One card, please. No, oh, financial constraints. Look at that. You may, some of you may be in a situation where there's not enough money, right? You're suffering financially and it could be causing problems in your relationship. Maybe you're stuck in a situation because you don't have the money to get out. Or it could go, somebody could be with you just because, because they don't have the money to leave. Whatever this is, there's financial problems here that are pro they could be your main focus right now. You may not be focusing on a relationship because you're focusing on, you know, recovering the bank account. You know, we just had the holidays. Uh, somebody may have overspent. That may be, be the main focus in January is recovering financially by the looks of things. I mean, that could be the case. Or somebody is stuck in a situation because they don't have the money or the finances to get out of it. Um, what do we got for Virgo? Eight of Coins. Interesting. Now this is about money as well. This is somebody may be working really hard to get some money, working really hard, putting in a lot of effort, um, maybe developing skills so that they can get more money very much focused on oh, your job, focused on achieving uh, a goal, perhaps. Um, this is somebody that is uh, maybe teaching somebody how to do something. Because it looks like we have this mate, there may be an apprentice here. But this is something to do with work and money. I think that you're really focusing on your job. You must not be focused on your relationship or finding a really if you're single you know it looks like money is the uh main concern by the looks of things right now um for one reason or another it's all about uh the bank account for keeping those cupboards filled right This is putting in a lot of effort to build something, to build something up. Five of Wands reversed. Now this is be patient. Relief is coming. Relief is coming. This is the end of a conflict of some sort. This is coming out of conflict. You may be, may have been dealing with some competition, but this could be the end of the competition. Now, somebody has probably been in a very tense situation. Page of Swords. The Hierophant reversed. Interesting. The Hierophant reversed is being controlled by a father figure. Somebody's under under a lot, or it doesn't have to be a father figure. Somebody's under a lot of social pressure, social pressure to compete because this is competition. It's like somebody is trying to compete with everybody around them. There's a lot of competition here. The Page of Swords is uh, a message that you don't want to hear or a conflict. And this is a conflict as well. So somebody may be dealing with some sort of conflict or some sort of tension over competing with the neighbors, competing with the family, competing. There's a big competition going on here because of social pressure. Now, this is feeling disgraced. There could be something that is revealed that makes somebody feel disgraced, or there's fear of being disgraced. Now, this is about love. There could be news with these two cards of legalities, okay? Somebody somebody may be getting divorce papers or filing for divorce or wanting to file for divorce, and it doesn't have to be divorce. Legalities can come in many different forms. 
This could also be an enemy. There's an enemy lurking, okay, with the Page of Swords. There could be a spy. This is poor counsel. We also have a relationship that is no longer on the page, on the same page. You know, there is. It's like there's somebody that is observing and maybe they're they're um there's competition here. There, there's some sort of competition that... What the hell is going on here? Somebody may have met somebody at their job. I know this is about work, but it's also... It feels like there's some sort of competition with somebody at work. But somebody may be married... Nine of Wands reversed. The Nine of Wands is uh, bad luck, burned out, not learning, refusing. We have somebody here that definitely has a lot of pride. Somebody that is sitting on a high horse. This person sits on a high horse. Has a very big chip on their shoulder. Doesn't want to give in. Doesn't want to give up on a situation. Doesn't want to give up on a commitment. Because of pride. I can see the pride here. I really can. Avoiding challenge. We have somebody here that is avoiding the challenge of getting out of something. But there is some sort of investigation or observation going on. About the competition. So there's some sort of competition going on here. Competing for someone's attention. There is definitely some poor counsel though. And there is a relationship that is not on the same page. But this we have somebody here that uh, is repeating the same negative patterns. And they're getting burned out. Not wanting to uh, make any moves because they don't want. It's like they don't have the money to move or they don't want to cause, well, they don't really care. This is a very selfish individual here. Hmm. Oh my God. There is definitely somebody else. There is somebody else here. Somebody is communicating with somebody else. And it's somebody that they may have met through their job. There's a new union coming together. This is a union. This is a partnership. Somebody that you have probably have some sort of deep connection to. It's like, but there's, there's a conflict of interest. And I think the conflict of interest is that there's somebody is already married or they're already in a commitment. And there's a lot of pride here and and somebody that is under a lot of social pressure to stay in this commitment, which is interesting. Now, the Three of Swords is a painful separation that is needed. It's needed. This is heartache and suffering and pain. It's, it's, a, it's a painful separation that is needed to, you know, bring you the love that you are meant to have. This is a painful separation. Somebody is going to be, I mean, it is painful. Okay. So this, there's this, and this is a messenger. The page of swords is a mess messenger. There is going to be some sort of communication that is delivered. And it feels like this, this communication is going to hurt. Okay. Somebody is going to receive a message. They're going to receive word about some sort of competitor that causes them to causes them some sort of heartbreak you could be dealing with a Taurus you could be dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius somebody may be uh, uh, getting have get, or may get some poor counsel counsel because they don't have the money they don't have the money to get good counsel But the Nine of Wands reverse is somebody that really is has a, sh a chip on their shoulder, somebody that is unwilling to compromise, somebody that keeps repeating negative patterns. This is this is a, a 
will do anything to get their own way. This is somebody that is very disagreeable and has a lot of extreme pride. Somebody that sits on a high horse. This person uh, is going to experience a setback. They're going to be experience a setback because they refuse to compromise. They refuse to tell the truth. But the truth is coming out here. What the hell is this? Now, this is somebody that is very curious, that is investigating, that is watching. Somebody that is watching. This is a union. It's like this person knows that there's competition. They do. They're hurting because that is painful. Oh, God, the Four of Wands is is coming together. This is a soulmate connection here. We have a soulmate connection. But this is a painful separation to, so that you can reunite or so that you can unite or reunite with your soulmate. Queen of Cups reverse is going to be a very emotional time. Okay? That Queen of Cups reverse is emotional. Very emotional. Deep sadness, heartbreak right here. There's going to there's some somebody is going to get their heart broken. Or they had their heart broken and there's a chance for a reunion. There's a chance because this, there could be a reunion here because I did say reunite with somebody from the past. This person has been observing. They've been watching. Maybe they were in a commitment or the other per somebody was in a commitment and they've been waiting. Hmm. Somebody may have. Uh, Regrets? Regrets for hurting another person and they want to come back? What the hell is this? It really feels like, you know, there's definitely some heartbreak here. Somebody is going to get their heart broken. That is no joke. There's some sort of jealousy or some sort of... uh Deep sadness. I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is a mess. This is a real mess here. There's going to be an upcoming celebration that somebody is going to attend. If you are single, if you are single, you may be attending. Maybe it's a work party. Okay, or something to do with work. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything. There's some sort of celebration that is coming up for some of you. Um, there is an admirer. I think there's an admirer that there will be a deep spiritual connection with. But in order to move forward with this admirer, there's going to be some sort of separation. Because this is a separation. This is a heartbreaking situation. And it may have to do with a marriage. And maybe this has already happened. We do have a relationship that is not on the same page. And it's really sad. If there's, if there's heartbreak here. Because there's a soulmate union that is meant to be. Interesting. Somebody has been avoiding the challenge of divorce or of breaking up because of social pressure. But it's like their heart is breaking. Their heart is breaking because they know this other person is their soulmate. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of communication that is delivered. It's going to be difficult communication with that page of swords. It's like the competition 
you know, is over. I feel like this person is about to step forward and express their feelings. And there's going to be a loss. There is definitely going to, there's going to be a loss of a relationship. Okay, there is. My God. But this loss leads to happiness. It leads to contentment. It leads to a soulmate union. So Virgo, be get ready to experience some sort of loss. I mean, I hate to say that. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be intense. I think there is a secret that is about to be revealed. Somebody's going to really express their feelings and it's going to... Uh, force you to deal with or force the other person to deal with this painful separation this is a painful separation it is somebody is going to experience a painful separation but this separation leads to happiness it leads to a new commitment it leads to a new union that is meant to be so virgo uh Good luck. <laughs>